Hello, Math 110. This is the second day video that I'm creating for um, the Math 110 online. Uh, I'm doing this because I figure the first two days you really need a little bit of help trying to get started, especially with an online class. Um, I posted the video the other day and it was telling you how uh, to get on to the My Labs Plus. I'm going to go over a little bit of that today just to make sure. I do not use, as I said in the video, I do not use Blackboard, but Tri-County Tech, for some reason, wants everybody to go through Blackboard to get on to My Labs Plus. And I'm just all I'm going to say, I don't agree with it, but I'm going to write a couple of things on the board just in case you didn't get it from the first video. <clears throat> uh, my cell phone number, which is on my information sheet, is... 864-356-3874. I'm going to write it on here in just a second. I'm trying to find something. Uh, My Labs Plus. Okay. All right. So my number is 864-356-3874. Okay. That's my personal cell number. My email goes to that cell phone also. My uh, help desk, Tri-County Tech help desk is 646-1779. And the My Labs Plus help desk is 1-888-888. Eight three twelve ninety nine. Okay. You call me in respect to math. You call Tri County Tech in regards to Banner, which is tctc.edu, and registration things like that. If you can't log on or things like that. And you call My Labs Plus with your home computer problems and My Labs Plus. Okay? So if you're having a problem with My Labs Plus and you can't get it at home and it comes on and it doesn't do right, then you need to call them. Okay? Um, another thing, once you go through the Blackboard to get and hit the link and get on to, there is another way you can do it. And that is www.tctc.mylabsplus.com. And you can go through that way, and it's more reliable than Blackboard, because Blackboard is not reliable, and it will go out two or three times during the semester, if not more. So... <clears throat> You've got three different ways, three different uh, sources of information. My, my number, the help desk at Tri-County Tech, and the technical support number at My Labs Plus. You also have another way, after you get on My Labs Plus through Blackboard, you can go straight to the My Labs Plus and log in. Okay, so that's a little bit of information for you. Um, the dates again, there's two or three dates that are important to y'all. One is Tuesday, April 23rd. That is the last day of class. That is basically when everything is due, or not due, but everything you're doing that last section, that's when everybody does their last test or the last day of class when you go over the last material. After the 23rd, you don't meet anymore in your classroom. Exam schedule, exam week which you don't have to worry about in my class. But exam week is, I think, the 24th through the 30th. And then grade turn-in, I can't write, okay? Grade turn-in is May 2nd, okay? So that's three dates that you need to write down, okay? All right, so that's a little bit of logistics that I went over the other day, except for the handouts, and you can read the handouts. 
Uh, I'm not going to go over the handouts again. I went over some of those with you in the first video. So I'm going to get out of this right now, or I'll go transparent on it. And we're going to go down here, and I'm going to pull up, just in case you didn't watch the first video, I'm going to pull up Blackboard. There it is, which I do not use. I do not use Blackboard, but I'm showing you this because Tri-County Tech wants you to go through this, okay? So hit My Labs Plus. Hit My Labs Plus again. Now, if you see this and it keeps doing this and it does this, now make sure you make a note of this. If you do this and your home computer keeps doing this and it, and it doesn't do anything, then go up here and look for, let me draw a picture on it right here. Let me just highlight it. You see that little shield right there? Not the star, but the shield. That little shield, you need to right click on it because that little shield is telling you this right here, there's a problem, okay? So right click on that little shield and put load unsafe scripts. Now sometimes that will take care of the problem. If it doesn't, then you're gonna see another little shield up there or X or something. You need to right click on that and hit allow pop-ups. Now make a note of that because some of you are going to run into problems like that. Also, sometimes it does it does you uh, it it helps out to switch engines between Google and Fox and uh, Mozilla Firefox. Uh, switch between them sometimes that helps also. Uh, don't just use one. When one messes up, go to the other. Now here is the basically the home screen for your class. Math 110-006, distance learning. The three main, there's three or four, I'm going to highlight them because they're important, okay? They're very important, and I want you to highlight them, and I want you to make a note of them. If you want to go and find your assignments, your homework and your test, you go to assignments. Okay, that's not working. Let me hit... Uh, let me try to hit it again. There we go. Hit assignments. Assignments is homework and test and your uh, attendance quizzes. We're going to go into that in just a minute. Study plan. That's extra problems that do not count for the grade. You just work on problems over and over and over. Grade book. Grade book tells you what your grades are. It's just like if you opened up a grade book and there was all your grades. That's what grade book is. E-text is how you print out your text, your, your book. If you don't want to use a book, you can print out the e-text. I'll show you how to do that. And pretty much that's it. Okay? Now, chapter contents is about the same as e-text. You can go in and pick out things in the chapter. That's really kind of redundant, so I don't go over it. You can play with it if you want to. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go through assignments. Click on assignments. And here are your assignments that are already ready and for ready for you to go, okay? Now remember, in the first video, I said that chapters 1, 2, and 3, y'all are going to work on them the whole month, okay? Here's the first attendance quiz. You click on that and take your attendance quiz. You have 30 minutes to take this quiz. It's good for seven days, or it's due on the 13th, which is Sunday night, I think. You got three chances to take it, takes a higher of three. What is Hubert's email address and cell number? The only one that makes any sense. In my labs plus, upon completion of all assignments, the grade book will give me my final grade. If you take several forms of a test in Hubert's class, how is it counted? This is true on anything. Final exam, uh, quizzes, uh, unit test, I take the highest grade. So I've just answered some of y'all's questions that y'all will ask the last week of class, and I will not answer because I've already answered it. Okay? Does Hubert replace your lowest test grade with your final exam grade? No way, no how. Which branch of service did Hubert serve in? And this one, I think it is 
All the answers, you're going to submit gray. Current problem, I think. I had to put that one in there because it won't let me do it without putting a math question in there. And although covered in his handouts, the first day of class, what is the best way to communicate with Hubert? Through his cell phone. And that means also you can email my TCTC account and it'll come through my cell phone. Most people either call me or send an email or text. One of those two, three. And it comes to my cell phone. Okay, so that's that. That's a bonus quiz. You do those. You answer those same seven questions every week. Some people still miss them. Okay, submit quiz. And look at there. I made a hundred. Yay me. And you're done. You only have to do that once a week. And follow the due dates. Due dates are on my labs plus. That one was due the 13th, and I'm done. Okay? As long as you do it, I give you a, I give you a present for that week, and Tri-County Tech is happy. I really don't care, but Tri-County Tech is happy. Now, let's look at a question. Now, all the homework is set up like this. And what I want to bring attention to is this box right here. I really don't want that one. I want one that's got a video in it. Hold on just a second. Let me go and find one. Let me go down to the chapter. That's a review. So let me go down to the chapter questions and see if I can find one. Well, they're not going to put... Really? Okay, they're not going to tell you whether it's... I don't like that, but anyway. If you hit this... Button right here. Okay, there's, there's, there we go. Let me, let me go back and find one just a little bit more. Okay. No, they don't have a video. Let me find another. Well, I'm trying to find a short, short one that's real simple. that has got a video with it. So give me a, give me a second to find one. Okay. Let me just go down here and find one. Oh, why can't I find the one I want? Uh, 3.3. Okay, hopefully I got one here. Go back, go forward. I'm sorry, I thought most of the questions have a video with each one of them, but I have to pick the only homework that doesn't have one. Should have just picked the one that had the video. Okay, it looks like we're not going to have one here, but I'm going to try one more time. Usually they have a little camera beside the uh, little camera beside the question, but they don't have them on this one, so I can't just pick one. I have to find one. Really? I hate piecewise functions. All right, I guess I'm not going to find one. But anyway, this button right here does a lot of things. Some of them will have videos. Some of them will have help me solve this. Now, help me solve this is a way to solve the problem. But I'm just going to put out, okay, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to put guided, meaning that it's going to ask questions, okay? Oh, well. Uh, help me solve this. It is going to ask you questions, okay? It's going to show you how to do it, but it's going to ask you questions. It's kind of like when you go to a t tutor, and the, and, 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 and the question is, uh, x squared is equal to 4. And, the, and, the, and instead of just showing you how to do it, the tutor says, what does x squared mean? And you say, well, that means you multiply x times x to get x squared. And then they say, yes, that's right. Now, how do you undo a square? And then you would say, well, you take the square root. And then the tutor would say, well, what do you do on one side? You have to do what on the other? Now, instead of just showing you how to do the problem, the tutor is using what's called guided tutorial. Okay? It's where the, the tu tutor will ask you questions during the tutoring session, guided tutorial. That is what Help Me Solve This is. 
Oops, I'm sorry. I can't spell. Okay? A guided tutorial will ask you questions. Now, when do you need that? You need that when you have no idea how to do the problem. No idea. Okay? It's kind of a reinforcement learning style. Instead of just showing you the problem, it explains why you're doing what you're doing. Versus the next one, which is view an example. Okay? Help me solve this has questions. View an example is just show me how to do it. View an example is just show me. Now, when do you use that? When you're remembering things, okay? Some of you may look at x squared minus equals 4 and say, I know we're supposed to do a radical there. Yes, you do. That's when you would say, okay, I don't need to ask all the questions. I know a little bit about the problem, so I'm going to hit view an example, okay? That's when you learn that, or that's when you use that. View an example is more of review, okay, where... Uh, help me solve this is first time you've seen it, okay? First time you see a certain type of problem. And that's just a little bit of an explanation of the different learning styles. Video is visual learner, and when you do see one with a video, some of you visual learners, that is a video, and I'm not going to, video means visual, okay? So I'm not going to sit here and explain visual I can't even spell it, okay? Visual is basically a video or a graphic tutorial, meaning a computer video that does everything instead of a person, okay? Now, what else do you have? Well, let me erase all this because I want to show you the most important one, and that is ask my instructor, okay? Ask my instructor. Now, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to show you. Put, ask my instructor, and you say, please, Hubert, please explain this question. Okay, or I don't understand. Or could you make a, uh, could you make a uh, video or something to that effect? You don't have to write anything. You can just send it. Okay. Now, when that sends to me, it's going to send to my email. And here's my email. And it's going to come up as soon as it does. I hope it does. It's supposed to come up. Okay, there it is. It's not supposed to be in that. I don't know why I can't get that to work. But there it is. Please, please explain this question. All right, I spelled that wrong. But anyway, you click on that. And I will create a video. As I said in the first video, I will create weekly videos. And let's say I get five questions that week. Then I will do a video with all five of the questions that you have sent me as online students. So that take advantage of that. It's called virtual office hours. So make sure you take advantage of that. I can't do anything unless you tell me what you need. Okay? A squeaky door gets what? Grease. So make sure you send me questions. And that's basically how you do the homework. Okay, so let's get back to the homework. Main menu. Uh, oh, that's Math 103. That's the wrong course. Where is... I'll just pull it back up. I'm sorry. Uh, 110, 110, 110. There we go. All right, so here's your course. And I told you the course, the assignments. That's how you find the attendance. Uh, that's the attendance quiz. You need to take that first thing. Attendance quiz, and here's your homework that you need to be working on. The orientation, the intermediate algebra review, and all these sections. And when you get to the end of chapter two, remember your outline. It's the most important one. Let's go back to it. Uh, 110. The outline is the most important Problem there is. I mean, the most important, I'm trying to find, I do not like this email because it doesn't hand out. There. Over here, it's got 
uh, syllabus right there. And down at the last page, the last page, because the syllabus really is worthless, because you can't read it, because it's got all them fancy words in it. But anyway, here is the outline. So I need to, okay, for my first unit test, I need to do 1.2 down to 2.6. So then I go back over to the homework. Go back over to the homework and I say, okay. Well, I got too many windows open. Go back to the homework eventually. Right here. There we go. And I got to do one point, I need to do orientation intermediate 1.2, 2.1, 2.3, 2.0, blah, 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 2.6. And then here, I need to take the unit one test. Well, you're going to see the unit one test pop up eventually. And then you're going to see the unit two, chapter three test pop up eventually. So the only thing you need to do is start working. You'll see those two tests pop up. They're called the unit one test, and then the unit two test, chapter three. You're going to see it, it'll pop up eventually. You don't need to worry about it right now because you're not done with the homework. So start working on them, start sending questions. That's what you need to do. Study plan. Study plan gives you extra questions. Let's say I want to do extra questions in, no, I'm sorry. Chapter contents gives you extra questions. Let's say I want to do chapter 2.2, hit study plan, and boom, it'll take you and do extra problems. These do not count for points. These are just extra problems. There's no record of it, so you can do them all and get them wrong if you want to. You can do them, write them down, and not even do them, and do them on paper, uh, notebook paper. It, I don't care how you do them. Okay, those are extra. That's how. That's under chapter contents. Okay, let's look at a test. Now the tests are going to be under assignments. Now I don't have one pulled up right now. I don't have one open, so I'm just going to go pull one up and let you look at it. Assignments. This, you, this is my button. You're not going to see this. So I'm going to go to Unit 1 Test, and I'm going to hit Preview. And I'm just going to show you how it works. It works just like the homework. There's some of your bonus questions that you get. I told you you get bonus questions out of the syllabi and the handouts. What is Hubert's email address? And there's another one. There's several. And I'm not, I will go over this later, but I'm just going to show you there's some math questions in there, like so, and other math questions. So that's what the test looks like. But you don't need to worry about the test till later. But that's where it is. When you see the test pop up in your assignments, that's when you need to start worrying about it. How do I do the test? Okay, you ready for this? Okay, I'm going to write it down so everybody will know. Number one. I give you seven days to take the test. Number two, I give you two to five tries, three to five tries, depending on what the material is. That way, uh, like in factoring, the factoring, uh, or in factoring, you need extra tries because it's repetitive very repetitive. So instead of giving you three tries on a factoring test, I would give you five tries because it's repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Okay? Three. It takes the highest grade, and that's true on the final exam, and it's true on the quizzes. If you take three tries on a test or three tries on a quiz, I have configured the the my Labs Plus on my, my classes to take the highest grade. Boom, that's it. Now, I want to also mention on the test and the homework, look at here, due. It tells you when something is due. It tells you the time limit. There is no time limit here because it's homework. It tells you how many attempts. And it gives you your score. So when you do submit your homework, after you submit it, you will get a grade, and it will show up on your grade book, which is right here. Now, let me, let me reiterate, go down to, so yeah, I took the attendance quiz a while ago, and look what happened. It gave me two out of three. I've taken two out of three attempts. That means I've got two more. I've got two more attempts. I've taken one out of three. I've got two more attempts, and I made 100 on that first quiz, so I really don't need to take the other two. 
a zero will be placed in the other two spots. And what's the highest grade of a 100, a zero, and a zero? The 100. So the grade book will take the 100. There's the date that is due. And 30 minutes. I got 30 minutes to take each one. So everything is on My Labs Plus. The homework is on My Labs Plus. The quizzes are on My Labs Plus. The time due dates are on My Labs Plus. The attempts are on My Labs Plus. The time limit is my, on My Labs Plus. And the grade is on My Labs Plus. What if it's not, what if what if something's not there, Hubert? Then you don't need to worry about it. Well, what if there's not a date there? Well, then you worry about it when you get there. Okay. A lot of people worry about dates. Most people who worry about dates are the people that procrastinate. All right. When you get, when you start getting to 2.6, that's when you need to start worrying about a test date. When you get to 3.4, that's when you need to worry about a test date. But those tests will be up before those you get through with those homeworks. Okay. If you finish early, then just sit and wait. Don't be emailing me and texting me say you really want to take the test. You take it when everybody else takes it. Okay? All right. And that takes care of grade book, assignments, e-text. What if you don't want to buy a book, Hubert? Everybody that's in My Labs Plus has a book. It's called the e-text. There it is right there. Hit e-text. And when it comes up, you'll see that you can print out by section. You can put it in a folder, and you can use that as a book. It's up to you. And this is when I tell my conventional, I tell all my classes this. I don't care what kind of book you use. Click on these three lines right here, and that will pull down the table of contents. We were in chapter 2.6, and you can print this out. Go up here to the three dots over here, and you can print out that section of the, of the book. So you can borrow a book, you can share a book, you can use an old book if you like, you can use this text, you can just look at it on your computer screen, or you can print it out and put it in folders by unit if you want to. So that's how you print out the book. So uh, I've covered how to find your assignments on my lab plus. I've covered how to find your uh, tests and quizzes, your attendance quiz on my labs plus. Uh, what the test looks like, the due dates, everything that's on there, the due dates, the times to take it. Um, you've got seven days to take a test. You've got seven days to take your attendance quiz. You've got three attempts on your attendance quiz. It takes the highest of the three. You've got, and there's 14 attendance quizzes. It's 10% of your grade at the end of the semester. So that's the easy 10 points. All you got to do is do them. Um, I've covered everything about uh, my labs plus so that was today's video uh, I'm trying to think of anything else send your questions uh, watch these two videos and that will answer a lot of your questions and we should after you finish this second video you should be ready to start working on the homework so if you have any questions send them my way and the next video you will see will be Friday's video which will be going over homework questions that you have sent me hopefully in the next couple of days. Have a good day.